Oh, hello, John. Um, we spoke a little while ago. Um, I'm reading um, What Can the Bible Teach Us? And also on JW.org, I've been looking at the insight on the scriptures. And yes. A few other books. Uh, it's Robert. Yes, Robert, yes. Yeah. Hi, Carry hi, on. thank you. Um, it was um, a comment on page 33 of What Can the Bible Teach Us? It's the end of paragraph 11. It says, all governments belong to Satan. I was kind of um, not very yes. happy about that. As I think I yeah. said, yes. Thank you. Yes, I have looked. I have looked at that, and uh, I, the verse, you know, where it mentions that um, Satan is the ruler of this system of things. The whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one. Well, who is that? Well, what does that mean? Uh, I mean, well, does... well, who, who is the ruler of the world? Um, Jehovah, Psalm twenty-four, one. He owns this world. No, no, he's not. In fact. Uh, it's just the opposite. In, in fact, uh, uh, the devil really is ruling the world at the moment. So would you believe that the British government and the Crown, which is the head of the British government, is being ruled or controlled in some way by Satan? Oh, well, 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 well that's what the Bible infers. Well, even this country which is Great Britain, and the Crown, which is the head of Great Britain, are you saying that you believe that they're controlled by Satan too? Satan is the ruler of the world. Yeah, I'm not interested in the world. I, I, I live in Great yeah, Britain, yeah. so... Can, but, 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 yeah. but every country is part of the world. So if he's ruler of the world, what do you read into that? No, I'm, you're asking me a question. I'm asking you a question. Is my government including the Crown, which is the head of the British government, under the control of Satan or influence in some way, according to your literature? Well, the world is, yes. So, obviously, it must be. OK. Um, I've looked at some of your older literature, and it does say that Great Britain... Uh, or rather the British Empire, is part of Satan's organisation. I read that in the book Prophecy on page 167. He is the, the ruler of the world. Uh, Jesus said that. How could Satan offer Jesus all the kingdoms of the world if he didn't own them? But he doesn't own them, does he? Of course he does. Yeah. He, he's in control of them at the moment. Hang on. What we agree that the the earth belongs to Jehovah, Psalm twenty four verse one. The earth, yes, but at this moment in time, Satan is his ruler. I'm asking. No, I'm asking who owns this earth, who possesses this earth. And I, I thought Hang on. I'm asking who owns this earth. I thought that Jehovah owned this earth. He does own the earth. But Satan at this moment is his ruler. I'm, I'm not interested in ruler, I'm interested in owner at the moment. Well, Jehovah is obviously. Right, so if Jehovah owns this earth, is he co-owner co with Satan? Does do, do, you know, no, do no, Satan no, and Jehovah own it 50-50? No, Satan doesn't own any part of the world. He doesn't own it, he rules it at the moment. Right. I agree he doesn't own this earth. He rules it at the moment. Well, I'm he's, talking... in control. he's in control of things until uh, God's kingdom starts to rule it, which I, I hope don't think so. <laughs> um, I'm asking about who owns this earth. You've, set, you've agreed that Psalm 24 verse 1 says Jehovah owns this earth. So... Yes, he is the creator, but at the moment he doesn't rule it. I'm not interested in ruling, I'm asking about owning this earth. Who owns this earth? Is it Jehovah? alone who owns this earth or does satan and jehovah do they co-own this earth no satan doesn't own the earth right so he just rules it at the moment so every single thing in this earth is owned by jehovah not by satan the bricks the stones the houses of parliament big ben milan cathedral the new camp football stadium every square inch every square mile of this planet is owned entirely by jehovah can we at least agree on that well, he created it. But does Jehovah own he it? Create, he created the earth, but at the moment he doesn't rule it. I'm not in, I will go into rulership in a moment, but no. Satan doesn't own this earth. 
No, he doesn't own it. Right, okay. It's entirely owned by Jehovah. Okay, so when Jesus is shown the kingdoms of this world in Matthew 4 and Luke 4, yeah. it's interesting that in the Luke account, he says, this authority I will give you. And in both accounts, it mentions their glory. Yes. Um, for instance, Matthew 4, uh, again, the devil took him up on an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of their world and their glory. Yes. So I think that what Satan is really offering to Jesus are the people who are in rebellion to God. That's Satan's kingdom. That's no, what. He, no, it was everything in the world as well. So that would include the today the Jehovah's Witnesses. Would you be part of Satan's kingdom? Well, we're ruled at the moment. He rules the earth. We're no part of it, but he rules it. You said every part of this earth is owned by Satan or ruled by Satan. Did well, I hear he, you say he, that? He rules the world at the moment. And the world would be everyone in the world? Well, that's what he's trying to do, isn't he? I'm trying to get a clear answer, John. When you say Satan owns every thing in the world today... He right? rules the world. Right, so does that include the Jehovah's Witnesses? Well, we try to be no part of the world. That's what we're told to do. So does, he, does Satan rule the Jehovah's Witnesses? No, of course he doesn't. Right, well, in that case, he doesn't rule the whole world, does he? He only rules some of it, according to your beliefs. He doesn't rule all of it because he doesn't rule the Jehovah's Witness religion. No, he doesn't rule that. That's true. Right, right. Um, so my understanding of Luke 4 and Matthew 4 is that it's talking about the people who are in rebellion to God. I, I believe that Satan was defeated when Jesus rose from the grave. So even if... Satan did own all this entire earth if he co-owned it with Jehovah in Matthew 4 and Luke 4. He owned all the stones, all the buildings. He owned the Roman Colosseum. He owned Gaul. He owned Britain. He owned Rome. He owned e Egypt. If Satan owned the whole earth, which I don't think he did, that then, would have been... How could he offer it to Jesus? Could I... How could he offer the, all the kingdoms of the world and their glory... To Jesus if they didn't belong to him. Right, we're going back to, to stage one. I was trying to make a point. I was in the middle of making a point. You um, cut me off, so I wasn't able to make my point. Um, so what are we back to? Sorry? What are we back to? I, I... We agree this earth is entirely owned by Jehovah. Satan doesn't own this earth. Agreed? He rules it. Now, I'm talking about ownership. I'll talk about rulership next. But does Satan own this earth? Well, Jehovah created the earth. We know that. That's beyond a shadow of a doubt. But Jehovah allowed Satan rulership to prove that, uh, or through Christ, to, to prove that his rulership was better than God's. I understand that. Who owns this earth? Psalm 24 one says the earth is Jehovah's. So I it thought Jehovah owns this earth entirely on his own. Yeah, I think there's two, big, two different issues here, isn't there? Yes, I'm, yes, yes, ownership and rulership. So I'm dealing with ownership. Who owns this earth? Well, Jehovah created. Right, so can we leave that? We agree that Satan doesn't own this earth. When it comes to rulership, he, when it comes to rulership, Satan is ruling over those people who are in rebellion to God. There, there are some good people in governments who don't belong to Satan. Think of, think of Daniel, yes, in, in um, Babylon. Yes, yes, think of yes. Joseph in Egypt. Right. Right, so I, I know of three good Christian people involved in the British government, or who have been involved in the British government. Um, I know an MP, or I used to know an MP 25 years ago when he, when he was in his father's Pentecostal church. Um, he's a Christian, Steve Steve Double of St. Austell and Newquay. Um, I went to a talk by Anne Widdicombe. Um, I don't know if she's still alive, but she's a, she is or she was um, 
a Christian lady who believes in Jesus. And the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, has, has talked about her faith in Jesus. So there's three people involved in the British government. Um, I don't believe that governments are instituted by Satan. I think governmental authority is instituted by God. That's exactly what Romans 13 1 says, that the authority that governments has uh, comes from God. That doesn't... Well, I think that statement, you know, where it says they rule by the grace of God, isn't quite true because Jesus Christ is king of the kingdom. And that's the only kingdom that will surely, will shortly rule our earth. Um, At the moment, the devil does. But very shortly, that's what my hope is anyhow, um, that Christ's kingdom will soon rule our earth. Um, Jesus' kingdom at the present time is a spiritual kingdom, not a physical kingdom upon this earth. Now, I'm talking no, it about... Rule you. It's, 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 it's a kingdom that's been established in heaven. But that's just what I've said. It's a spiritual kingdom. Perhaps you need to... But, it's, but it will, as a real government... Yes, it will. It will. It will come to this earth shortly after Armageddon. Agreed. But at the present time, yeah. in the year 2020, Jesus' kingdom is a spiritual kingdom, or if you like, a heavenly kingdom. It's not set yeah. up upon this earth. With regard to the kingdoms of this earth, it doesn't say that they're instituted by Satan. Romans... No, he doesn't put them in power. He just uses them, or he rules the kingdoms of the world. Well, he didn't rule over Daniel in Babylon, and he didn't no, rule over Daniel... Joseph in Egypt. And there's three good Christian Daniel people wasn't... in the British government but who I've named. Daniel was a king, was he? Pardon? He didn't rule anything. Um, he, he, the king often just ate and slept with his many wives and had a, a life of luxury, um, but he'd leave the ruling, the actual ruling, to somebody else. And so Daniel was ruling as a sort of vice regent under the king. Look, um, Romans thirteen one, let every yeah. soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities right. that exist are appointed by God. So it says that governmental. Well, well, Positions by yes. So governmental authorities are established in their position as governments by God, whether they're democracies or um, republics or monarchs or, or even dic 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 dictatorships. The principle of government here on earth is appointed by God. Now, that's not a carte blanche for a government to do anything that they like. Um, that's an erroneous teaching called, um, in the Middle Ages, they called it the divine right of kings. The king could do whatever wicked thing he wanted because it was the yeah. king. It was the divine right of kings to do what he wanted. It wasn't a crime. If a government or a king or a president or a prime minister or, or a dictator does something contrary to the word of God, Romans 13.1 is not saying that we should go along with that. That's true. So if the Nazi government wants to put babies into gas chambers at Auschwitz, Christian people should defy that and not do that. The fact that governmental authority is appointed by God, it, that means that we should follow the governments unless the government does something that is directly contrary to the word of God, in which case we're not to obey it. That's right. right. It's, only in a relative, it's only relative obedience in as much as we do. We obey the laws. Uh, we do everything the government asks us to do as long as not contrary to what God says. For example, you know, um, if, a, if this country tomorrow uh, um, was at war with another country, would we go and fight? OK. Um, What's the, what would the answer be? Sorry? What would the answer be if this government declared war on another government... Would we actually take up arms to fight? Well, Jehovah's Witnesses um, get share dividends from arms companies. So although you don't fight in wars, you're quite happy, your governing body, to receive share dividends from arms companies. I, I can't see that. Um, through I the Henrietta M. Riley Trust, you've been receiving share dividends from um, Boeing, Northrop Grumman uh, and other arms companies for um, decades. Um, but let me just finish my point. Romans 13.1 says yeah. that governmental authority is appointed by God. And Jesus himself, when speaking to Pilate in John 19.11, also says the same thing. He tells Pilate that his authority is from above. 
Now that's very strange. Uh, if Satan, let me just have a look. Romans nineteen eleven. Jesus answered, "You could have no power at all against me, unless it had been given you from above. Therefore, the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin." So he's talking to um, a Roman. Um,